Folks, welcome to another exclusive. I'm here with the one and only the marvelous one, McQuan Williams. McQuan, first of all, congratulations on your win. Thank you. That was awesome. Um, McQuan just won on Pro Box TV. When was the date again? Uh, January 17th. January 17th. And um, what's interesting about this is the sparring that you had for this fight. It was uh, four guys that were fighting practically within three months. Michelle Rivera, um, Paulino, Jermaine Ortiz, Nova was in the mix also. I didn't work with Right, but he was sparring, right, but you you sparred with Michelle Rivera, Jermaine Ortiz, and Paulino. Correct. So, uh, I believe Jermaine Ortiz was a B-side, uh, Paulino was an A-side, Nova was a B-side. Did you, fighting for pro box in Florida, with a guy that's fighting for Silas out of Las Vegas, did you consider yourself to be a B-side fighter? No, I was. I was a B-side. Right. All across the board. Right. But that's all right. Right. Because look what happens. You know, exactly. Go out there confident, do what you got to do, and everything works in your favor. Right. So I'm thinking, like, that's the way you got to win, the way you did uh, knockout. Um, I know that kid very well, actually. Um, they brought him from Puerto Rico to Las Vegas, bringing him up nicely right. until he... Uh, uh, Crash to a 20 and 0 now, uh, McQuan Williams. Um, tell me, um, were you expecting a knockout, or did you think that was the only way you would have to win? Uh, to be honest, I, I, I was gonna go out there and just be myself and try to dominate every round, win every round. I didn't expect a knockout, but you know, obviously, if it comes, we'll take it. But I didn't expect it. When they ask you to fight a guy who's undefeated. Do you do you actually take it right away, or do you huddle with your team and think about it first? Well, with any guy, not just undefeated, um, we huddle up, discuss it, see what's the best move for us, and then uh, we'll go from there. But fighting another undefeated guy is definitely um, it, like you know, I get you up in the morning. You know what I'm saying? To go uh, do what you got to do, work hard, you put your training in, and um, it's just exciting. You know? Two old going against each other for the. It's like a, uh, you know. So, you won in fabulous fashion by KO, a guy that was considered supposedly to beat you. What's next for Williams? Um, I think we're looking at June. The strong possibility for June. Um, the boxing Hall of Fame, the boxing international Hall of Fame, up in um, upstate New York. So we'll see what happens, but that's looking like a pretty good. 140 pounds is deep. Yeah. It's a deep um, division. Yeah. Um, you just saw New England's uh, finest, Jermaine Ortiz, yeah. lose to Fimo Lopez. Yeah. What you think about that fight? I don't know about the decision. <laughs> I thought Jermaine did real good, though. He did well. Um, shout out to Jermaine Ortiz. Um, you know, going in there with good uh, world class fighters and putting on good performances. So I'm sure he'll be back stronger, better on the big stage again. Like I said, shout out to him. But I don't that decision. I don't know about that. Fulton. Yeah. So if they were to offer you any of these uh, champions at 140 pounds, who would you want? Any? Uh, any of them? We gotta see. We gotta. We gotta see how everything lays out. You know what I'm saying? As far as the business and everything, how the timing of of the fight and all that. But I don't. I don't really care who I'm fighting. Who do you think is out of the champions right now at 140 pounds? Who do you consider to be the best? Outside of the champions? No, uh, out of the oh, champions of the champion. oh. that have the belts at the uh, moment. Subir Matias, Teofimo Lopez, um, who's the other Roly. one? Roly. Roly and, and um, um, who, who has the other belt? Uh, we got a brain fart right now. That's yeah, okay, why? but Ronnie, 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 Matias, uh, Joe Fimo. Fimo. What are we missing? Who it's, got a WBC? Oh, Haney. 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 So, who do you consider uh, to be the most dangerous out of the four most belt dangerous? holders? Well, like, yeah, the, who do you think is the best? And who's holding out of those four belts? Who's the top dog? 
I would say it's either it, it's either Haney or uh, uh, Tio. To be honest, as far as like all across the board, skill wise, just everything, I'll say either Haney and Tio. And if that fight were to happen and 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 fight for an undisputed between them, who would you who would you think would win the fight? That's a tough one, man. Tio got the, 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 the power. He got the speed and all that too, but Haney's more like a real technical, you know. I don't know. Part of me part of me wants to say Haney at this moment. Part of me wants to say Haney, but I don't know. I would like to see it though. Sure. You don't have any of those guys that you would say, let me fight him right now for that belt. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> Come on, which one do you want? Let's go. I'll take whoever, man. Yeah. Whoever. Well, I don't think. I'm just I, looking at the opportunity, you know? No, absolutely. 20 and 0, one of the best. With, with the performance you just had in Florida, uh, Pro Box TV. Um, if you weren't a household name, you are now. Appreciate Before I let you go, I gotta ask you a question. All right. I've, I've been meaning to ask you about this. I want you to tell me what this means. All right. right here. Rip Linda. Rest in peace. That's my aunt. Okay. So when we first got the offer to fight on uh, Pro Box, the date was supposed to be the 10th of January, which is her birthday. My aunt she passed away. Uh, several years ago. Um, so we were supposed to be, it was supposed to be on the 10th. We, <laughs> it was supposed to be on the 10th. We, um, it got rescheduled to the 17th, which is a week after. So because it was going to be on the 10th, I wanted to dedicate the fight to her. Oh, wow. Okay. Book, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So I put her on my shoes. But even though this is the 17th, it doesn't matter. You know? Yeah, you still dedicated the fight, fight to her. Yeah. But the fight was actually supposed to be on, on the, the 10th. And then it happened the week later. Right. Wow, yeah. interesting. So, yeah. Okay, so that's my awesome. Logo, they got rest in yeah, Linda, they got yeah. I, I know what the logo yeah, was. Yeah. I just didn't know what, what Linda yeah, was. That's yeah. awesome. That's, aunt, yeah. that's great. Yeah. Great to hear. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I just want to say, hey, congratulations on the big win. And uh, we'll be seeing what's next for uh, the marvelous one. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Thank you, man. All right.